Uh, tomorrow morning is going to be a bit of a mess because of this uh, messy system headed our way. You can see uh, the bulk of the system still back off to our west here. This cold front that's been bringing severe weather to folks back off to our west. We were talking about Louisiana and Mississippi as well during the day today. It's continuing to shift west and the severe weather is going to stay down to our south because we're on the north side of this warm front. On the south side of this warm front is where the more unstable areas and that's going to translate actually over to the coast of South Carolina and North Carolina tomorrow, uh, but for us here, we're in the more stable air. So our big concern is the amount of rain that we're going to get. And you can see all of that heavy rain still back off to our west, starting to shift into our area, though. We're starting to pick up in terms of the intensity across the mountains and northern parts of the upstate. The southern parts of the upstate getting a little bit of a dry spell, which is great news. Uh, that's going to bring down your rainfall totals, though. Uh, you're not going to see quite as much rain as the rest of us a little bit further to the north uh, here, where we're seeing that, that steady rain. And it's going to continue continue as we head into the next couple of hours. So as we look ahead towards 2 a.m., we've got that heavy rain across our entire area moving through, and that's going to continue into the early part of the commute. So this is at 5 a.m. tomorrow morning as you're headed out the door. Notice these oranges and the bright reds. Those are very heavy rains coming down as you head out on the roads. Now notice we're starting to see that clearing line, though, back off to the west by the time we get to 5 o'clock. So if you're on the later part of the commute, once we get closer to about 8 o'clock, then are looking a lot better out there, much more scattered in nature. Still some pockets of some heavier rain, especially across the eastern parts of the upstate, and then it clears out from there. So by the time we get to 11 o'clock, this is out of here, and we're looking at a much nicer afternoon with those partly cloudy skies starting to break out and even a little more sunshine as we look closer towards sunset tomorrow evening. When all is said and done, most of us are going to pick up about one and a half to two and a half inches of rain, and that's a significant amount of rain for us uh, in this short amount of time, really from about uh, the middle part of the day today into the early part of the day tomorrow. One other thing to pay attention to uh, really going ahead into tomorrow morning is going to be up across the mountains as the core of the system moves through. Winds are going to pick up and we're looking at sustained winds 20 to 30 miles per hour up across the mountains with gusts up to around 50 miles per hour. And this is going to be even worse in the higher and the, the higher in elevation you go. The valley's uh, probably a little lighter on those winds, but it's going to be breezy tomorrow morning on top of these cool temperatures and on top of that rain. Temperatures right now upper 30s to the low 40s, except for right here in the far western mountains where we've seen this little pocket of warmer air just kind of hanging out throughout the afternoon. You've got those upper 40s there. It's not warm, uh, but you're warmer than everybody else right now. As you wake up tomorrow morning, I do think we're going to see temperatures about where they're at right now. Upper 30s, low 40s, and then that pocket of warmer air out towards Bryson City keeping you in the upper 40s. But then tomorrow afternoon with that return of the sunshine into the afternoon, that's going to boost our temperatures into the 50s. So up in the mountains, low to mid 50s for your afternoon highs into the upstate. I do think you're going to get into those mid 50s. The exception would be over into far eastern parts of the upstate where you're likely going to get stuck into those low 50s, but we're still talking 50s for pretty much everyone. And then as we head into Thursday night, temperatures dropping down into the 30s. Friday, Saturday and Sunday, a lot of sunshine. Friday, a little warmer than as the rest of the weekend with afternoon highs into the low 50s. Saturday and Sunday, we're looking at those afternoon highs into the upper 40s, and that's going to continue into next week. Now, in the mountains, you're stuck in those 40s for afternoon highs all the way through the middle part of next week with overnight lows in the 20s. So it's going to be chilly going forward. But you notice one thing missing after we get through tomorrow morning, no rain in the forecast as we get a little closer to that Christmas holiday. Now, as you head out the door tomorrow morning on your morning commute, you're going to want to wake up with us. The morning news starts at 430 a.m. till 10 a.m. We'll be keeping you updated on what's going on on the radar and, of course, how that's impacting your morning commute with traffic uh, during those hours. Tori?